Okay guys, one of the most common questions we've gotten on our channel, um, especially after we did some of these how-to videos, is how do you remove the tenderloin with the gutless method? So that's what we're gonna show you here. We've already broke down the deer. We've removed both front, both quarters on this side and the back strap. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the dirty work and get the tenderloins, which is a great cut of meat. Probably the one, one of, of the, the most best. tender cuts of, of meat on the animal for sure. What you need to know is that the tenderloin actually lays right below the backbone, uh, you know, right where the back strap. back strap went. So you can see we removed it here. You can actually see this little piece of red. That's the beginning of the tenderloin. It's just under the ribs. Under the ribs. So it's, it's a little tough to work with when you got the guts in there, but it's not that bad, especially if you have a couple guys. So um, to start, we're actually just going to run our fingers and break apart the tenderloin from some of the stomach and you can just you can feel every little you can feel it just yeah, pulling you can just away feel it pull away and man they feel like butter okay so what we've done is we've come from the the farthest back rib the very last rib and then we've had to slice down the backbone just to kind of open it up so you had this layer of fat right here before we've removed that already so now it's all separated from the stomach. Eric's just gonna get his knife and go in there and just cut the top of this, the tenderloin just away from the back. Yeah, bone. just like you would a back strap. You can actually see some of this meat that's moving here. That's part of the tenderloin. Heck, you can just- Yeah, you can feel it right here. You can rub your fingers in between the ribs. This is gonna pull right out. If you use your fingers, you can feel that the t how far the tenderloin goes back. Just make a quick cut right there. And you can feel it pulling away. I mean, some of these animals, you can get in there and rip it right out, but we try to save a lot of meat, so we're just gonna work it with a knife. All I'm really doing is pushing the stomach away so Eric has a little bit of room to work. Peels right off the backbone, just like the back strap would. Yeah, you feel how far that goes up. It goes up just underneath that last rib, so work the rib cage up. Pull it right out. Look how soft that meat is. That is like <laughs> butter. Look at that. That's all it is. It's not a lot of meat, but it's one of the best cuts, you definitely want to get it. But we've had a lot of people ask how we get it if we short, it's called a short quarter uh, uh, gutless method. And uh, never have to mess with the guts and you can get all the meat you would if you uh, gut, if you were to gut the animal. So we're gonna be eating that tonight. Yeah, that's, that's a great cut of meat right there. And on an elk, it's like three times that big. Mm. Anyways, we're gonna take care of this deer, do the rest and uh, get out of here, pack it up and get out of here. Like always, thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more on how to butcher, click on one of the videos down below. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Click on the hush icon in the middle. We upload Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday every week.